Namaste, Scorpio. Namaste, my gods and goddesses, my kings and my queens. Happy motherfucking birthday. Happy solar return, Scorpio. We in this thing. I want to shout out, if it is your birthday today, October 30th, happy birthday. But just in general, I'm sending love your way. I'm sending balance. I'm sending prosperity, abundance, longevity, all of the good things, Scorpio. All right. This is going to be for all placements, sun, moon, rising, Venus, wherever you have the beautiful sign of Scorpio in your chart. I pray that you all are doing well. I pray that you all are taking care of yourself, loving yourself honoring yourself and those around you all right so before we get into your message score make sure you like the video okay as it truly helps the channel grow make sure if you resonate with me as a reader you hit that subscribe button and that bell so you're notified every time i do upload or decide to go live all right Scorpio, you got trust and you have getting to know each other. I really do feel for a lot of you that this is new. That source is finally opening up your heart again to trust an individual that you can be vulnerable with. Now, Scorpio, y'all know it's hard for us to be vulnerable. And it's not really hard for us to be vulnerable. We're just very discerning on who we are vulnerable with. But God is sending you somebody that you can trust. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. You will be able to deepen a soul divine connection with someone simply by opening up and just being your true authentic self. And I definitely see this person leading by example. This is how you know you can trust somebody because they are a man or a woman of their word. This situation is calling for you to have faith, Scorpio. All right, so I'm definitely picking up on the star card. So either your faith is being restored or it has been restored. Now you're moving forward with confidence as it pertains to love. This is something or someone you've called in or you're calling in after releasing an ex. There definitely could have been an ex that was captivating your energy due to a karmic tie or you you may have been what is the word source this is somebody this ex you were trauma bonding with and trauma bonds are sometimes the most difficult to release. But as you put in the work, as you follow God's instructions, as you do what you're guided to do, it makes it easier for you to remove yourself from a bondage or from a toxic tie that has kept you chained or chained for so long. The time has come for you to clear your energy of this person. They have been exhausting you to no end. And, you know, taking accountability is always liberating. So this could have been something you were allowing this person to do. And of course, people are only going to do what you allow. But now that you have this newfound confidence as it pertains to love and the connection you have with source that immunates the spirit of love inside you, at this point, you're only able to attract the highest frequency. Your prayers, your affirmations, your visualizations help you bring you and this person together. 
we have engagement here. All right. So your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. And this will not, this will not be a codependent connection. When I see the codependence card or the codependency card in this energy, Scorpio, this is codependency that has been released. So any addictions, anything affecting your romantic life will be rid of when you attract this new love, when you engage in a partnership that's ascending to a higher level of commitment because codependency cannot go there. It won't thrive. It'll die. Meaning the connection will die shortly after because codependency can also speak about smothering. It could speak about bad habits, obsession. And Scorpio, you already know, no human being can be controlled or possessed and i feel like that's what was transpiring in this relationship with your ex and with releasing your ex you have released codependency that's not even in your nature now they say that scorpios can be possessive but i feel like you are territorial and you are going to be connecting with somebody who respects that you are territorial over them. Or this is someone that's going to be territorial over you. And territorial over this connection that God is ordaining over your life. You have wedding. This situation involves a marriage. You're calling in a soulmate who shares the same values, the same morals, the same views, the same purpose in life as you. This is somebody who wants to get married. This is somebody who wants to be committed. This is somebody who is capable of forgiving and learning in a relationship. This is not someone who is fixated on their ego. This is, this is someone who is tapped in, tuned in, and turned in to their spirituality. They are tapped in with the higher power. This is like what I'm getting, Scorpio. Simply put, God worships marriage god ordained it that is a covenant under under god's protection and i feel like you and this person value marriage the same way we're going to move past that because i was going to get into this ex but we're going to leave them uh where they at all right clarify trust for scorpio please for my scorpio babies Clarify trust for my Scorpio babies. All right. This situation is calling for you to have faith. Yeah. You have I like you, keys on a ring, and for, uh, for photography. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming. Fun, flirting, want to date. So again, this is somebody who shares a genuine like for you, okay? Many options, decisions, unconventional, unconventional, string along, one night stand. Yeah, this person definitely is not coming with no keys on a string or keys on a ring. If anything, this person want to put a ring on that finger. OK, this person wants you to know, wants you to feel that you can trust that they're not going to go out and disrespect the connection by having a one night stand. This person is not unconventional. They are traditional. You could be connecting with a Taurus or attracting a Taurus, your opposite sign. This person may have many options. 
but they have decided on you or it's vice versa. This could be you deciding on this person. Looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, make new memories. All right. So this could be for others of you. Okay. This could be someone from your past. This could be a soulmate connection reuniting, or this could be someone from your past who is coming forth expressing their love for you, expressing all the things that they have been through, all the lessons they have learned, where they went wrong when it came to handling you. They think about you. They miss you. Anything that they listen to, anybody that speaks your name, any store that they may pass, they just think of you. A lot of things bring up good memories for this person when it comes to you. This is God's way of letting this person know you were the one or you are the one. Now take it how it resonates. Even with the getting to know each other, you could be getting to know someone extremely new or you're getting to know someone all over again. And in this cycle, in this divine cycle, okay, now I'm picking up the Wheel of Fortune, you guys are able to be more expressive, be more revealing, be more authentic so that you are intentionally building a bond with each other, okay? Getting to know each other. This could be another Scorpio because Drake just came on. All right, yes, yeah, self-indulgence uh, flew out in the reverse. So this is somebody who is selfless. This is somebody who is open to being honest, open to being humble, open to being transparent. All right. Focus on self, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, self-appreciation. They've done the work. I said that. Yeah. Even if you don't know this person, you're, you're calling in a healed soulmate. Okay. This is, again, somebody you can trust. All right, they've done the shadow work. They appreciate themselves. They respect themselves. They've healed. And because they appreciate and respect themselves, they're, they're not going to take less than that. They're not going to settle for less than that. And I feel like you're in the same energy. And that's why you all are being magnetically pulled to one another. You could have seen this person's face in your dreams. All right, in your visualizations. All right, some of you guys know exactly who this is, Scorpio. Let's not, let's not, let's not fake the phone now. Now, not all Scorpios are into like magic and dark root work and having to light a candle or, you know, do all that um, hoodoo and voodoo stuff, which I have nothing against. But most of the time, Scorpios don't feel the need to have to do all that because we're powerful all on our own. But we will do some affirmations we will do some prayers and visualizations and that's a fact okay you got camera in the reverse reminiscing keepsake perception learn from the past and make memories all right now that came in the reverse and i definitely do feel like this is pouring into releasing your ex because i feel like you or this person you're releasing any old memories of X factors, all right? People who no longer matter, people who are non, um, people who are irrelevant, all right? And this could be energy that is intentionally attempting to penetrate your energy or your person's energy, right? Um, this could be um, an ex or a past life lover or someone that you could have just hooked up with or connected with and they're, they're attempting to send you old pictures or old text messages or hitting you up, asking you if you're, you remember certain things. And a source is saying, really, whoever this is, they're energetically or spiritually blocked from you. So you might not even be getting any of this. Okay. Because God is making room for you to make new memories with your soulmate, not a past karmic relationship or a past karmic ex. Okay. 
yeah, talking and palm tree. Okay. I definitely do feel like there will be some heart to heart conversations had during this reconnection or this connection. All right. I feel like it's something you have been anticipating or awaiting or this person has. All right. I'm getting a mutual manifestation. Like you, you, you all are mutually and simultaneously attracting each other into your life. There could be a high level of telepathic communication happening as well. You got palm tree, stability, security, permanence, growth, and endurance along with flexibility. So you are calling in someone who is bringing in stability, security. They're flexible. They don't have a one track mind. They are in it to win it. They see growth with you in permanence. They're here to stay. You have engagement and marriage, <laughs> just period. I really do feel like you're attracting this because this is what you provide. It's almost, it's that energy, like don't ask for something that you aren't able to provide, okay? Um, you got the snake, competition, enemy, clever, malicious, look over your shoulder, the other woman. So with the ex, of course there's a snake in the grass, all right? Of course there's going to be... <laughs> enemies or malicious people fighting against a powerful connection because Scorpio your energy leaves an everlasting impression on people I don't care how people feel or the amount of people who don't want to admit that people who come in contact or connection with the Scorpio in any way shape or form they will never forget you and yeah, I just seen paradise here. You got palm tree in paradise anyway. Because you have the ability to detach and because you were made to transform and take on new levels and new journeys and new pathways, um, no matter how long you stayed in a situation that was not conducive to you, once you finally break free and move forward, Scorpio, there's no turning back. And Someone has made themselves an enemy of yours and now they're in competition. This person is only digging a grave for themselves. The one they're digging for you, they're going to wind up in. This person is not clever enough. They think because they're your ex Scorpio that they can manipulate you or that they're 10 steps ahead of you. Meanwhile, you're 20 to 30 to 40 steps ahead of this person spiritually. It doesn't matter what is being shown or revealed or manifested in the 3D, but in the 5D, you are very powerful. And that's where things manifest first anyway. So whoever this is, Thinking that they can be the other woman while you move forward successfully in this God ordained union, they have another thing coming. Okay. I will say that because this snake energy coming over, release your ex, is giving me somebody who feels like, oh, yeah, um, Scorpio, you know, they moved on, but I'll always be their lady or I'll always be their man you know what i'm saying uh, we have this this deep bond soul connection no we trauma bonded it was toxic there was nothing fruitful there you were cheating you had other women or other men always having looking over my shoulder there was nothing beneficial from this connection so stop faking i'm gone okay now because you have built up the courage, Scorpio, to move forward, to move on, to break free, all right? You have a snake. And no telling how many snakes you got around you, Scorpio, especially as it pertains to exit, because we have codependency here. And so you may have some people who are still, you know, obsessed with you, all right? They're addicted to your love. I'm addicted to you. Yeah, they're addicted to you, Scorpio. So 
There's nothing you can do about that. That sounds like a personal problem. Now, keep in mind that these same individuals may be coming in asking for your forgiveness. Asking if you guys can talk. If they even still have access to you is what I'm hearing. All right. This whoever this is, they want to beg and plead and get on their knees. You know what I'm also picking up to? The type of person that you're connecting here, that you're attracting and connecting with here, Scorpio, is somebody who would be like, you want me to go with you? You know what I'm saying? You want me to be, you know, your moral support to provide this person closure? If that's what they need, if they need to see you or talk to you, I'll go with you. I got you. It's like they're not the type to be like, why the fuck you got this ex or blah, blah, blah. Because this person knows the effect and the power that you exude. And it's just like they're not stressed. They're not pressed because they know the energy that they are now bringing. They're bringing you commitment. They're bringing you stability. They're bringing you growth. They're bringing you permanence. So with the flexibility, I feel like this person is flexible or this is you. If they have somebody obsessed and, po and possessive over them, um you could be like you know what let's just go meet up with her all right let's just go meet up with him you want me to stay back in the car you know what i'm saying release the chick release the dude i don't this is just what i'm picking up all right the magician virgo gemini energy did not say that there's a, a mutual manifestation happening here all right and i feel like because you have put in, because you have put forth the effort to utilize all that you have, you know how to work with what you got, Scorpio. You, you manifest seamlessly in your reality, all right? I feel like you're creating a fine environment for your growth here. Yeah, page of pentacles. Your skills are developing in every way shape or form and i feel like this is great with the page of pentacles because i feel like you're discovering newfound things about yourself especially with the magician and this is making you extremely happy i feel like your aura is very lighthearted as well and that that makes it easier i'll say for the universe to bless you uh, with many blessings, joy, and wish fulfillment, because your your heart is light as a feather. Okay, you got the eight of cups. All right, so this is definitely your energy as well, Scorpio. So a situation definitely caused you to walk away due to emotional discomfort. You just didn't allow yourself to continually continuously be beaten and abused emotionally all right three of cups all right i definitely feel like you know that you deserve to be celebrated or you deserve to be around people who genuinely love you genuinely care for you genuinely want to see you do well in life especially as this pertains to love you're not in the position to be sleeping with the enemy fuck that hell no nah. And you walked away from a third party situation. This is somebody who did not see your self-worth and your value. Fuck you. Bye. Okay. No. I also do see here you're partying. I mean, it's your fucking season. All right. So you're definitely having some sort of celebration with the nine of swords, some of you guys can be feeling a bit anxious around your birthday, depending on the age you're turning. All right. So I'm picking up on a very significant age. OK, so this could be, you know, 40, 45, 55, even 65. But if you're more so an adolescent or you're a little younger with the page of pentacles, you could be turning 18 or 21 or even 25 and you're looking at your life differently now. You're looking at the type of relationships you want to cultivate and you want to keep and the ones you want to walk away from. 
not even want, need to walk away from because there's bigger opportunities that are now in store for you during this new season in your life. You don't want to walk into these brand new opportunities that God is blessing you with, with anxiety and fear, because you need to have your mental state in order to attack and go full force in these new opportunities. You're going to need all the brain power that you have that source has blessed you, that source has blessed you with to tackle and make these opportunities work for you. With the magician and the ace of pentacles, you're calling in a a whirlwind of abundance. That's a fact. I feel like with the nine of swords, there also may be some anxiety around preparing for an immense amount of abundance that God is pouring into you. So God is saying there's no need to be fearful. This is what you ask for. I feel like the more you embrace the opportunities and the goodness that comes in, it will lessen your anxiety. It will lessen your stress. And honor your emotions. What are these emotions trying to tell you? What is this anxiety really saying? What is this panic, fear, or paranoia really saying, right? Look, Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, all right? Clarify the magician. The moon, okay? Mm, 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 mm. I feel like you're... Your magic is very instinctual. It's like you're not moving. You're not making any sudden moves if your instincts and your guts is if your instincts and your gut is not telling you this is a good move to make. Okay. I also do feel like whatever is being hidden from you. The fact that you are a magician, the fact that you are an alchemist, in the midst of you alchemizing the best life, secrets will be revealed to you out of osmosis just because they need to be in order for you to continue on this, this journey towards greatness. Nothing can be hidden from you for long, okay? There could be a Cancer or a Pisces very significant in your energy. And then we also have the number 18, which I picked up. So some of you guys can be maybe turning 18 or you may have an 18 year old Pisces child or Cancerian child. <coughs> Excuse me, Squirt. Some of you guys feel like something's being hidden from you, though. <laughs> Look at that. But relax. God is going to reveal it to you. There's nothing you need to do. Just continue focusing on, on just continue focusing on manifesting your true love, your abundance, your peace, your stability, your financial. I'm hearing endeavors, but it's more so financial independence. Your financial wealth, okay, is very significant here. Maybe because of the Ace of Pentacles is here. Something's going to be revealed to you in your dreams as well. Also, if somebody is on bed rest or somebody is feeling ill here, there's a healing taking place. Just get plenty of rest. Some of you guys may... Um, be coming across some some sort of common cold, but I feel like it's it's not going to last no more than about three days. All right, but this is because God is wanting you to rest, wanting you to relax. All right, around an opportunity or around something developing here. All right, as you rest, things start to develop even more here. It's like when you stop trying or attempting to do so much or feeling like you you have to have all your hands on something, God is wanting you to just rest at this time because I feel like you've done your part with the magician. Okay. The six of cups. All right. 
Scorpio energy. Yeah, this is coming under the Eight of Cups. So this is definitely uh, talking about somebody that you could have walked away from. They're coming back around because this is coming back. This is coming under self-indulgence in the reverse. And I feel like this is not the karmic ex, though. This is not the person that you trauma bonded with. This is somebody that um, you've manifested intentionally. You always knew this person had it in them, but you were strong enough to let him go. You knew if you loved them, you would let them go. And I feel like you always kept good memories um, in your mind about this person. You even made up new memories in your head about them without them even happening yet. Like you visualize what it, what you guys would be doing. This is what you would see when you would think about this person. Them coming in, them reuniting with you. Some of you guys may love flowers. You, you could be getting a dozen flowers for your birthday or even just one. Some of you guys may be a simple woman or a simple man. You, you may not require all of that, right? Um. You got the five of wands. So there's competition here with the three of cups. Some sort of conflict that's unnecessary. That's what I'm picking up because all of this good energy and then the five of wands, like why? <laughs> why? Okay, so somebody wants to stir up some mess. Somebody wants to... Okay, source. So... This could be a situation that you might need to confront, Scorp. There may be a conflict that arises that you have to address. There's no longer, you can no longer walk away from this. You can no longer ignore it. This may have been bringing a bit of anxiety too with the nine of wands or the nine of swords knowing that you may have to confront a situation i feel like some of you just really don't give a fuck but energetically and spiritually is creating some sort of blockage here mentally with the nine of swords even though externally you may come off like you don't care but you do and you just need to confront it and let it go this could be with a friend this could be with an ex. This could be with a family member. This could be with some sort of third party. A third party could have been a friend and you simply addressing this person like, look, I feel like what you did was fucked up. It was fake as fuck. I trusted you and you deceived me. You're just as fucked up as the ex. This could be a friend of me who fucked on your ex or did some dirty shit behind your back with an ex because they were jealous. They always knew you had it in you to manifest real love but they're a snake they thought they were being clever but all in but in all actuality they were doing you a favor i just picked this up in the last reading all right so be aware of like physical conflict physical fighting no nah, we're not doing that no nah, we're not doing that scorpio nah you are a princess Oh, okay. I meant to say an empress, but princess came out. So somebody's mistaking your empress energy for a princess energy, or you have a princess looking up to you. So you have to show the utmost respect and morals for yourself, especially if you have a baby girl. Okay. I don't know why I'm picking up on that. Or if you have a daughter. Now, if somebody come for you, though, with blows, then, yeah, protect yourself. But at the end of the day, we're not going to be sitting up here fighting like some motherfucking peasants. Like, no, we don't. We're not doing that. Yeah, because that, that leaves you in no, it doesn't leave you in a good space because that's not really you. Scorpio energy again, five of cups under under the nine of swords some of you guys have been avoiding a conflict or you've been avoiding something that you know is not going to end well these are essentially giving me the same images just in two different places one is emotionally and one is in your head so right now scorpio it's time for you to pick yourself up 
encourage yourself, love on yourself, reassure yourself. I can handle this. I can tackle this. I can address this in a mature and emotional, stable way. This could also be projection. Somebody could also be playing on your emotions. Someone may also bring up the fact that you lost someone very dear to your heart, knowing that this will trigger you. Don't let it happen. It's all a, a manipulation tactic. We do have the snake with the magician out here. Someone may be attempting to throw you off your square because they see this huge opportunity either here for you or coming in. I'm seeing you being watched by a multi-million dollar company or you could be on the lines of getting sponsored or starting a big business or going public or something like that. Don't fuck it up by somebody from your past playing on your emotion, playing on your top with the nine of swords and the five of cups. And for others of you, if this is somebody who, who will do some sick shit like that, as long as you are connecting with your angels and connecting with your spirit guides and connecting with your ancestors on the other side, you're going to be good. They may even forewarn you about this person bringing them up. Look, Queen of Cups is still here with the Four of Cups. So be aware of someone doing something that puts you in an energy of stagnation. Yeah, Ten of Wands. All right. Temperance. Sagittarius energy. All right. The number 14 breaks down to five. So just be patient. Be patient at this time. But within, but within you being patient, make sure you are staying determined. Okay. Because someone is attempting to slow down your determination or your opportunities that are coming in. Some of you guys may also be mourning something, though. I will not just brush over that with the nine of swords and the five of cups. Some of you guys may be mourning a loss. My condolences. This may be, you know, keeping you up at night. You may not be able to sleep. There may be somebody that you're thinking about that you wish was here that can see you manifesting all these opportunities and good things happening in your life. But whoever this is that you're thinking about heavily, they want you to know they've been with you this whole time. They've been a part of your ascension. Some of you guys may have been giving this person offerings or you may need to start giving this person offerings. And if this message is for you, then you already know who this is. They're also sending you an earth angel, which I feel like is this soulmate with the temperance and the ace of pentacles who's bringing in that stability, that security, and that permanence. This could be a Sagittarius coming towards you. Or you could have Sagittarius in your chart like me because we have the moon and we have the temperate, temperance. So you could be a Sag moon. That also gives me an energy of reconciling a mother-daughter relationship as well. Simply take it how it resonates, Scorp. All right. So let's get some, let's get some last, some energy here. Did you stage today? Close your eyes and connect with God. All right. Plant-based lifestyle. All right, some of you guys may be going towards a more plant-based lifestyle, Scorpio. I love that for you. Whatever works for you, okay? Some of you guys, sources um, wanting you to take it easy, or some of you guys may be needing to pray on this. Um, source is also saying if you are on this journey, uh, for those of you who are just starting, expect to have headaches, all right? But they'll go away after three to five days, all right? Drink plenty of water as well, eating plenty of fruits, melons, okay, papayas, watermelons, um, berries, blueberries, um, raspberries, okay, elderberries, cantaloupes, okay, embrace your struggles. This may be a struggle. <laughs> All right, so this may be a struggle for some of you, Scorp, going down this plant-based lifestyle, but it'll get easier. 
God is saying, it'll get easier. All right. I love this for you. And you're going to be attracting a mate who is also plant-based. So you guys are on the same page, on the same level. Even if they're not and you are, you, you're going to get on the same page or vice versa. If they are and you're not. All right. My eyes are getting watery. Scorpio, Scorpio, anything else for Scorpio? My beautiful Scorp. Nothing? Okay, so nothing here. Okay, we have fuck fear. False evidence appearing real, Scorpio. I want to pull for my from my Black Moon Lilith deck. One message. Source, please. For Scorpio. You got Neptune. Wow. And I'm listening to um Sammy. He said, I'm a Pisces as soon as I pull Neptune. <laughs> Very significant. All right. We have magic, imagination, and illusion. All right. For some of you guys, I'm picking up on just being very delusional as it pertains to your magic, to your gifts, to your alchemy. I'm hearing ascension and alignment. So a lot of you guys or a, a lot of you guys are aligning with your gifts of alchemy. Some of you guys, this is something that you could have only imagined. Maybe you thought that it was a, an illusion or something like that. But because you had the mindset like that around it, it created no boundaries. So that's why it's actually coming into fruition here. You got Black Moon, Lilith, and Aries. Lead your life. Let's read Neptune. This is number 30. So some of you guys could be turning 30. So give me a second, Scorp. Oh, this card was on the floor. Everything about you turns me on. <laughs> so you turn somebody on, Scorpio. Give me a second. Let me get this book. And we're going to read um, Neptune. And then we'll be out. Make sure y'all like the video, Scorpio. Let me have to make sure my mic's still on, y'all. Because. All right. A Pisces is significant, though, all right? My son's a Pisces, so, I mean, that's really the only Pisces that's significant in my life. Um, nobody I really knows has Pisces in their chart. Um, I mean, my best cousin is a Pisces. Love her to pieces, but, yeah, there's a Pisces here significant. Okay, so let's see. I want to see... When this card, okay, so when the Neptune card shows up in an oracle reading, the universe wants to remind you of your natural superpower. Take time, hold on, take time to dive into your spiritual alchemy and manifestation practice. What do you want your life to look like? What do you want your creative vision to embody? Paint it, write it, act it out, make a vision board. In any way, set intentions for your reality. When we work with our imagination and treat fantasy as reality, the universe can pick up exactly what we want and create synchronicities to make it happen. Neptune cosmically thins the veil between the natural and the spiritual world so you can channel your visions into reality through your imagination. Ashe, Scorpio. So that's what I have for you, my babies. I truly pray that it helps. Don't forget to like the video and I'll check y'all on the next one. Happy birthday. Peace.